Hi guys, so today we're going to look at data types or basic data types. And we are going to go through this hacker rank challenge using uh, the C style of programming. So I'm not going to be dealing with C out or C in, but I'm going to use scan F and print F, which is what you would normally use when you're using C instead of C++. All right, so here we have a quick refresher. Uh, you can uh, look through these online if you want. Um, here are some examples, but these are the instructions. Okay, so we're going to receive um, some input from the user and they are going to be separated uh, with white space and the data types are going to be integers, long integer, a character, a floating, uh, a floats if you want, and uh, a double. And then we have to set the precision of um, the floating point value to three decimal places and then we have to set the um, the precision value for doubles to nine decimal places right here. So the sample output is going to look like this, three, and then this is a very long number, and then a character A, and then a floating point number, and then a double right here. And when we are done uh, capturing these, we should output, output them with the right precision. So you can see here, we have um, nine decimal places, but the user only had um, five numbers after the decimal point. So we need to take care of that. And this is an example, it will look like, uh, like this. So let's get started quickly. Um, I'm going to first declare uh, my variables. And what are the types again? Integer, right? Actually, I can, I can uh, look at them from here. So first we're going to have an int, I'm going to call it my int. Then uh, a long, I'm going to call it my long. To the, the pattern here, how I'm naming my variables. Then floats, and then double. And now I'm going to use scanf, which is a function. And in that function, we are going to pass in a couple of uh, arguments. So the first one, uh, between uh, quotation marks, I'm going to have the format specifiers, right? So an int, I want to gather or collect an int from the user. I'm going to have D, you can also use I if you want. And then for this here, I'm going to have LD, which is a long. Then I'm going to have a C for a character. And this F is a format specifier for a floating point. And then for a double, you can use LF, like a long floating point. And then now I'm going to pass in the addresses of each of these variables. So when you want to make use of the variables, sorry, of the addresses of um, those variables, and by addresses, I mean memory addresses, then you have to use the ampersand uh, symbol. So we're going to add this ampersand before uh, any variable name. So ampersand my int, this means the address of the variable my int in memory, then the same thing uh, for the rest of them. What we're doing here is that we want to gather the values from the user input and then store them in these variables at the address that we are, we are passing to the scan F function. All right, so this is done now. Um, let's look at printing them. To print, I'm going to use print F. Uh, we, we looked at C out and C in in previous videos. So like I said, I'm using uh, CF, uh, scan F and print F right now. So again, we're going to make use of format specifiers like this. And now we're going to pass in uh, the variables directly. So no addresses, we want to read from them. We're not storing to them, so we don't add the ampersands. So again, now I'm going to select this, copy, paste it five times, and now I'm going to change them for, as you can see, they are matching uh, what we have in the scan F function. F, I'm going to add in the variable names my long, my char, my floats, and then my double. But there is one more thing that we need to do here. They said floating point number, remember, three decimal places, and then uh, the double has to be nine. So you can write 0 0.3, but I just write 0 0.3 in here, 0 0.9, okay? So, um, oh yeah, and then one thing, if we want our output to look like that, like this, we need to add the um, next line character. So here, if you add um, backward slash n, it means 
it will add uh, an empty line in between. All right, let's check the syntax quickly. I think I did everything correctly. Let's try and run this code. Oops, and uh, we have an issue. So what is the issue right here? Uh, this is my output, right? And um, so I don't know why I did that. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave that mistake in the video. It's normal stuff to do mistakes when you code anyway, right? So let's run this again, okay? Remember the percentage sign has to come before the point, not after like I had it. So um, I think, uh, yeah, everything is correct. It's green, we've passed. Uh, so this video is pretty much done. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Um, you subscribe to this channel and uh, you turn on your notifications for more uh, for more tutorials or hacker rank challenges. We're going to do more of those, uh, including some that I haven't tried yet. Uh, so make sure you stay tuned and I'll catch you next time. Bye.